Hey everyone, it's John here from Hotakaki, back with another video. This is the Montreal Canadiens off-season targets video, so through trades, free agency, uh, a bunch of different names out here, so let's just go through some rumored names to start. Uh, Chris Letang has been a name, it's more of a scenario where if him and Pittsburgh don't agree on price, then I could see the scenario where Montreal brings in Letang. Uh, I think in any scenario where some of these names they go after, whether it's Letang, uh, if they were getting incentives from Edmonton to bring in Tyson Berry, Klingberg, Strawman. Uh, names on the right side, we'd likely see Jeff Petrie traded. So the big rumor before the deadliner in the season was that the Flyers and Habs would make a swap. The Habs would take on the rest of the Van Riemsdyk contract and the Flyers would take on Jeff Petrie uh, and potentially be a bigger deal. So Van Riemsdyk's been a name. Bavillier has been a name tied to the Montreal Canadiens in the past. I could see if the Islanders are trying to shake things up in their offense that Bavillier could be a target for the Montreal Canadiens still uh, in the middle of his 20s. So... I could see it being a target. Um, the Barry one has been talked about more of, as I said, the incentive from Edmonton. But if you're trying to just get a guy out of free agency, the Montreal Canadiens, who have been rumored to be interested in Klingberg in the past, a trade from Dallas, then the Montreal Canadiens could just sign Klingberg uh, through free agency in the offseason. So some speculation names. I mean, I talked about the Kadri one in the video, if you guys want to go check that one out. But one of the Strom brothers, it could be a fit for Montreal uh, Dylan Strom, more of a prove-it scenario, more ice time. Pilat has been a name that I feel like if he settled with the Cups and the Lightning can't pay him, he could get a huge payday for from a team like Montreal. The Flurry one, again, it's one of those things. If, if Price is on LTIR for the year, Flurry could just make a lot of money on Montreal for a year. Uh, be... Hey, it could be a homecoming kind of thing. Philip Forsberg, I think a l I'm just kind of doing speculation for Forsberg on a lot of teams and just saying the fit. I know a lot of Habs fans were talking about it during the year that they could go after a guy like Forsberg. They signed a guy like Mike Hoffman, who I'll talk about. I think he could get traded. Uh, Forsberg would be that legit score, more, much more so than Hoffman. Lekkanen, I could see a return for Lekkanen. If Lekkanen, we'll see what he does with Colorado here, but I, I feel like Lekkanen always liked the Montreal, so maybe Montreal wants to bring him back. Uh, Mikheyev was another guy that was tossed around that, yeah, from Toronto, Montreal would be a little weird, but uh, Mikheyev wants more ice time, and I feel like the Habs, uh, if they don't bring a guy like Lekkanen uh, in, or like some of these names I'm talking about in the middle six, Mikheyev could be a fit for Montreal. Both Strawman and Jan Ruda uh, could be veteran depth pieces for Montreal, uh, but if they're trying to go for, as I said, a bigger name, it would be a guy like Latang or Klingberg. Uh, Capo Caco, similar to Jesse Pujarvi. Pujarvi I have more on the rumor side because there actually have been rumors in the past of Pujarvi uh, going to Montreal even back when Edmonton was having problems on retaining Pujarvi. Uh, Montreal was one of the teams that were tossed around. So maybe Montreal revisits the interest in Pujarvi or maybe they scan the situation with Capo Caco and the Rangers. You never know. Uh, they were one of the teams that when Kravtsov also with the Rangers was having problems, Montreal was the team that was tossed around. David Perron, We'll see what happens again. There's a couple of names I have in here that are potential homecomings that could be a fit just to sign with Montreal, be a leadership uh, aspect for some of the younger guys. Uh, players Montreal could tra trade away. I feel like there's a bunch of guys that they could trade away, but I just listed a few here. Jeff Petrie, I could see a very likely scenario where he gets dealt. Jonathan Duran, one year left on his deal. I could feel like, I mean, Duran, uh, again, a ho homecoming that hasn't really worked out to the fullest, but... Uh, we'll see if Montreal holds on to him. The contract of Shea Weber, there's a lot of rumors that the Habs are going to try to trade the contract of Shea Weber. We'll see what happens with the price situation, if he's on LTR or healthy. Uh, Joel Armia, I feel like Armia just didn't do well on what was like a contract. They were hoping he's going to be a third-line guy. He just didn't do well. So uh, Armia and then Hoffman could get dealt. He just signed last offseason. So Armia and Hoffman are two guys that were kind of – I mean, Hoffman had his moments, but – uh, so I feel like Hoffman, the values there, the contract, a little risky, but I feel like out of these guys, I could see at least two of them dealt from Montreal. Um, but obviously leave your comments down below on who you think could get dealt. Uh, and I mean, just a few names I listed for Habs targets this offseason. So hit that subscribe, hit the like, hit the notification bell, and I hope to see you guys in the next video or stream. Peace out.